All right, switching gears a little bit here, you guys. Uh, in a new interview with People Magazine, Caitlyn, G Caitlyn Jenner is reflecting on the five-year anniversary of her transition. She opens up about a range of topics. Among them is politics, which mm -hmm. I think there is a space for this conversation within this show today. Uh, okay. Because again, we just talked about Juneteenth and how you know i feel like a lot of people are going to be standing in solidarity with the black community on that day right. uh i can't say the same for our president who decided to have a rally right. on that day and one of the like the hot spots of race uh racist riots right. and uh you know caitlin has gone on the record to say that she was a conservative republican but now she's revealing that after identifying as a republican for most of her life in fact her whole life over the past five years she says she has changed her way of thinking she now says she identifies as economically conservative and socially progressive do mm -hmm. I, i'm gonna toss this over to you melicia do we feel like you know better late than never is there a space for them to change and do we believe for sure for sure for sure there are there are a lot of republicans now that have changed you mm -hmm. know i mean we always need to give people space to evolve i've said that number a number of times here on this platform so yes change because the, we've seen actions lately in our country that if you are standing on one side it says a lot about you mm -hmm. so i think her revealing that she has changed her mind when it comes to certain things yeah shows that she's on the right side of history in my opinion well of course because you'll remember that you know when she revealed that she voted for trump in 2016 that really caused friction yeah. uh between her and some members of the lgbtq plus community because you know obviously she was supporting a president who literally through his own policies and rhetoric has not supported the community right. that Caitlyn actually identifies with, you know? Right. So um, here's hoping she educates herself and is also going to use her platform to kind of reflect her, her evolution and her beliefs. Right, and that it's okay to change. Yeah, absolutely. Some people feel pigeonholed to that, you know? Mm -hmm. It's okay to evolve in your beliefs, especially when it comes to politics. Nothing yeah. And speaking of evolution, in this people spread, you know, uh, Kendall and Kylie also told the magazine how their relationship with Caitlyn has changed since she transitioned in 2015. Kendall said that uh, when my dad came out as transgender, our relationship grew. Mm -hmm. She could finally be honest with me. Growing up, my dad was not usually one to talk about her feelings, so that was a big step for us. Wow. Meanwhile, Kylie said that her dad has always found ways to inspire her, but that watching her live out her true self has been the most inspiring of them all. Yeah. What I love is that Caitlyn said she wouldn't have done it if her girls weren't okay with it. Uh -huh she wouldn't have made that transition. And I mean, we just see the unconditional love that you have for your parents and your daughters in this, in this instance. You know, this could be a crazy scenario for a lot of people to deal with, but they've handled it with so much grace and, and the love they have for each other. It's, it's beautiful, I love it. And I think it's important that they have shared this part of their lives because I think people need to see it, you know? Uh -huh. People um, have had questions for some time, you know, just wondering uh -huh. what, are, what are their thoughts. And same with what's going on right now. You know, I think it's important for people like Kim Kardashian and, and Kylie Jenner and Kendall Jenner and all of them to use their platform to shine a light on the Black Lives Matter movement. And we've seen Kim do that. Um, she's been very outspoken. And of course, her kids are biracial, you know, so it's important. And uh, it took Kanye a minute, but he got there. <laughs> Like it took Kanye a minute for a number of reasons. Yeah. Kanye already knows he is on thin ice when it comes to the black community just uh -huh. because of past remarks. One, slave him saying that slavery was a choice. So I I don't have a doubt in my in my mind that Kanye didn't feel the pain that the black community felt watching George Floyd's video or you know that all of us have felt. Right. So I, I think he just probably had to be strategic in how he approached mm -hmm. the situation. He's donated, reportedly donated $2 million to George Floyd's family, Breonna Taylor's family, Ahmaud Aubrey's family, just in a, all together, a total of $2 million. He also mm -hmm. set up a college fund for Gianna Floyd, George Floyd's six-year-old daughter. So yeah. he's doing his part. Some people say yeah. that Kim pushed him to do it, but if it took that, Listen, whatever, that's fine, you know? Yeah, I'm like, I don't care where the money's coming from and how long it took to get there, but I'm just glad it's getting there, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's a black man in America. I'm sure uh, this was his decision, mm -hmm. but sometimes you need some guidance on how to do it appropriately. There and Kim has been fighting for black lives, honestly, 
partnering up with the Buried Alive Project and Brittany yeah. Barnett for some time now. Mm -hmm. um, being the face of that project and fighting for Centoya Brown, um, Alice Johnson, a number of people to actually get out of the prison system. Yeah. So she She's been doing her part for some time. There you go. And, you know, it goes without saying, but uh, her, her kids have to be an influence on that, a motivator for her. Yes. Movie. Who, by the way, oh my gosh, she shared that photo of all four of them and I could not get enough. Yeah. Like, they are some beautiful, beautiful children. Did you see North? Oh, they're getting so big. <laughs> grown she's adorable it's very rare to get all four of them looking at the camera at the same time so she, she, she nailed it it was cute but yeah